I was able to catch up with Derek Tung of Pauly G's Logan Square in Chicago. Derek explains how we got into the pizza business and some really interesting pizza stories. Here's Derek. Hi, this is Albert Grande, pizzatherapy.com, legendspizza.com slash blog. I'm talking to Derek Tung of Pauly G's Logan Square, located in Chicago. How are you doing today, Derek? Good. Good morning, Albert. How are you? I'm doing fine. I want to just ask you, how did you kind of get into the pizza business and what's your pizza journey? Sure, sure. I mean, I think, you know, even as a kid at like age five, one of the things I wanted to do was be a pizza maker. There was something about throwing dough in there, making pizza, and then little by little, you know, I had a chance to... There were, I think some of my fondest memories, people may remember this, is in Pizza Hut, they used to have this book it program where the more you read, you'd collect these certificates. And it was, it was my opportunity to really bring my family out and pay for a meal. Like, you know, we rarely went out. We were an immigrant family, not much money, uh, scrimped and saved where we could. But because I was reading and reading books that I enjoyed, I had a chance to take out everyone, my parents, my sister, my grandparents, and everyone would have a personal pan pizza. And so that was kind of my fondest childhood pizza memory. Um, fast forward many years later, you know, my wife and I had Neapolitan pizza for the first time. Um, it was interesting. She was, she was closing her business that day, leaving corporate and starting her own business. We moved everything out, got lazy that night, didn't want to make dinner. So we tried this Neapolitan pizza place and just fell in love with true Neapolitan pizza. Um, and that's kind of where my pizza journey started. I started making it, um, wanting to learn how to improve it, visited the pizza making forum, started looking at YouTube videos. And then at some point I asked her, you know, do you mind if I build an oven in our backyard? Uh, I'd love to have guests over and have an oven that we can use. So that's kind of how Pauly G started. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like any great supportive wife, my, my wife was like, there's no way we're letting you build an oven in the backyard. So what I did was instead I convinced her to let me build an oven on a trailer. And my friends and I took the trailer on weekends to, when we weren't working our day jobs to farmers markets and private events to have fun, get to know guests. Um, and one of the most rewarding things eventually I found was at those farmers markets, we had guests just coming back and wanting to get to know us, wanting to try our new pizza specials. And really that's, that's the greatest honor anyone can have, right? A guest that comes back and says, I want your pizza. I want that experience again. Um, fast forward a few years later, I finally decided to take a risk and try to open up my own pizza place and reached out to some pizza mentors in the field, folks that, you know, kind of went through a midlife career change and opened up their own pizzerias. And Pauly G was the one that I connected the most with. And so we started working together. I trained out in New York. I trained at some other pizza places to learn what I could about restaurant and eventually took the dive and opened up a pizzeria. And now here we are about a year and a half later. Okay, that's what a great story. Thank you. And how are how how are your pizzas there? What kind of pizzas do you specialize? Sure, sure. So we do uh, two styles of pizza. We do the traditional wood-fired pizza that you can find at all our Poly G's, um, and then one of the ones that I added to the menu. Um, is a Detroit inspired style pizza we call the Logan Square and what happened was in the two and a half years it took for me to like find a location my wife and I decided to just take mini vacations and we drove around and visited the top 100 pizzerias that are always listed in the lists and one of the spots we hit was Buddy's in Detroit blew my mind just the crunch of the cheese the softness of the dough the brightness of the toppings and so I started making it at home wasn't sure if people in Chicago would enjoy it or not but we decided to start making it um, giving it a try. We offered it three days a week. People started just getting on my case about why don't we have this all the time? Why can't we have it all the time? So eventually we took the plunge and we make it every day now and it's it's one of our top sellers in the restaurant. Well, that's fantastic. Tell us how people can find you, where you're located. Sure. We are in Chicago in Logan Square at 2451 North Milwaukee Avenue. We are open every day except Tuesday for dinner. Um, most days we open at 5.30, on the weekends we open at 5. We just started trialing lunch, so now Saturday, Sundays you can get lunch with us. We don't offer our wood fired, but we do have our Logan Squares as well as some sandwiches from the dough that we make for our pizza. And in July we're hoping to open on Tuesdays. Um, and I'll be there every day except for that Tuesday, so. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Do you have a website and a phone number? Uh, we do have a website. If you go to polyg.com, you'll see all the different Poly G sites, and each one has a different owner. If you click on Logan Square, you'll see our website with everything there. Okay, well, Derek, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. Oh, please. It's an honor to be talking with you here this morning. Thank you, Derek, for taking time to talk to me. 
You can find Paulie G's in Logan Square at 2451 North Milwaukee Avenue in Chicago. Their number, 773-360-1072. And while you're here, if you could show a little pizza love and subscribe to the Pizza Therapy Channel. Pizza on Earth, goodwill to all.